Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 9. Okay, as you may have noticed, I've just had a haircut. And I'm only saying that because I've literally just had a haircut, so I'm still like covered in hair. So if I'm fidgety during this episode, that is why. Or maybe I'm just dancing, who knows? Anyway, shut up, Jay. Let's get on with the show. Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage that we're about to see does not belong to me. It belongs to AMC. But, without further ado, episode 9. Lights. Camera. Action. Oh, my days. It's literally just clocked. That is Laurie in a car. Half dead. Maybe fully dead. Is you dead? Oh, she's alive. Oh, babes, how long for now? And all the while, while Laurie has been dying, Rick's been killing. Yes, it needed to be done. But also, is there going to be any consequences to this? Because, let's be fair, there ain't no law and order in this new society, is there? But, don't they have friends? They mentioned something about having friends, their crew, they've been through it all. What's going to happen when their people don't come home? Dave? Tony? Oh, be quiet! Tony, man, I heard shots. You want to attract them? Just stick close. We're going to find them. Oh, they're armed as well. Rick, I hope you've got enough bullets in your gun. <laughs> oh! Laurie, if you can escape, you're gonna need to escape. Wait, no, actually... Escaping means going out in the open with them. What are you gonna do? First of all, kick that one in the face. Say, I need my space, please, and I need time to think. <laughs> Oh my days! Oh no, I don't want to be seeing her death scene this soon. Yeah. Sisters, they be doing it for themselves, okay? Oh, and luckily she's not super physically injured from totally totaling her car. Oh. This is too much stress this early on in the episode, babes. Great, yes, stunning, love that, you needed to do it, but now you've got to run because you've just signalled where you is to the other bitches. Lori, dinner. She's not in there. Where is she? I actually do not know where she is, but is she in danger? Why won't they leave, would you? We can't sit here any longer. Let's head out the back, make a run to the car. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Everyone in this show is in, like, mortal danger this episode. I mean, they are anyway. I mean, it's that kind of show. But, like, even more so today. I'm gonna push that shot. There's someone in there. Yo, someone in there? No. Yo, someone's in there. We don't want no trouble. Yeah, you do. We're just looking for our friends. They dead? This place is crawling with corpses. If you could help us not get killed, I'd appreciate it. Oh, I feel well bad. They drew on us! Oh, 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 forgive me, Father, for I have sinned! They alive? No. No! <coughs> oh. We wish we didn't have to, but, but it's like that now, you know that! So let's just chalk this up to what it was. Wrong place! Wrong. <gasps> oh. That's it, yeah. If they want to start, let's fuck them up. Did you know about this? No. Look, just, just should take a gun. I don't know. I wouldn't let her go out there alone. Do you know what? 
with all of Shane's faults, at least I know that he's so madly in love with Laurie that he is going to go above and beyond to make sure she is safe. And that brings me some kind of comfort, okay? Oh, like low-key, Glenn is my favourite person in this establishment, so if he gets shot up and killed, I'm going to be devastated. Uh, go away! Uh, I'm alright, I'm alright! Oh, for now, Glenn, you started making me sweat. Do you know what? Sometimes I do sit here and wonder <clears throat> if this was based in my country, in England, how would it go down? Because guns are not readily available where I live. What are we doing? Does everyone be running around with kitchen knives? He must have hit Glenn. He's behind the dumpster. Doesn't look like he's moving. Wait, how do we know this? Oh, my hand Are you here? stink of perm lotion. No. Where go? Romans are everywhere. We're leaving? Jump! Hurry up, jump already! Ooh. I gotta go! I'm sorry! No. Oh my days! I they said that Romans were on their way, so we ain't out of danger yet. Push him! No! Uh, he's definitely gone. I was thinking for a second, should we try and save him and then he owes us his life? But his life is now gone. That is some fucking barbaric way to die, isn't it? Being eaten alive like that. We have to go now. No. Oh. I'm sorry, son. We have to go. No, don't leave me, please. We please. have to go. No, we can't. He was just shooting at me. He's a kid. Please. We're not going to get that leg off without tearing the muscle to shreds. He certainly can't run. He may bleed out. Shut up. No. <gasps> that hatch is still in the car? No, 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 no don't, 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 don't cut my leg off, please. Please, not. This cut through the bone. I'll have to sever the ligaments <laughs> below the kneecap. No! Oh god, oh god! Oh, Hand me that stick! Oh! This is too much! Come on! Herschel. There's no time! Herschel, come on! Please don't leave me, please! No! No, you don't leave me, please! Please don't leave me! Oh my days! Hell no. You're not fine. I saw the wreck. Let me look at you. Oh. Oh, I gotta get you back. No, 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 no. we hey. gotta find Rick. He's back. They're all back. They're all safe and sound. Really? I'm so shocked over the last scene, and now Shane, you lied to my girl's face. You gotta hope that the others do come back before you guys get back. Or else you're gonna be even more angry at you, sir. What are you doing? Keeping an eye on you. Ain't you a peach? I'm not gonna let you pull away. You've earned your place. You've spent half your time minding your daughter's business instead of sticking your nose in everybody else's, she'd still be alive. Um, excuse you. You are becoming one of my favorite characters, Daryl. You're afraid. You're afraid because you're all alone. You got no husband, no daughter. Oh. Um, do with yourself. My gosh. You ain't my problem. Sophia wasn't mine. All you had to do was keep an eye on her. Oh, I don't like this version of Devil. Oh, I feel so sorry for Carol. All I want to do is protect her and wrap her up and hug her and dunk her in my coffee. That's how bloody fucking cute I think she is. They're not back? Go. No, of course they're not back yet. 
They run away back though. They have a friend. He might not have a leg though. Hey, Lord, Lord, I, will, Lord I will go Where after him. I will find him. Hey. And look, first things first, I gotta I gotta look after you. I gotta make sure the baby's alright, okay? I don't think everyone knew about this baby. baby. Oh bitch! Why didn't you tell me? Because we don't know. It's been a very complicated situation, little Carl. Oh yeah, and I forgot this Beth's in some kind of catatonic state as well. Bloody hell, it's one drama after another after another. I love it. If the baby's a girl, can we name her Sophia? <laughs> That's kind of cute, actually. Thor, so you cannot keep running off like that. And what are you thinking about? I was about? thinking we needed Rick here to keep us safe. Rick, I keep you safe. Like you did with Otis? The walls are closing in on you, Shane. You haven't been the same since. Nah, mate, you went rogue. I told Rick. Yeah, she did. We got to save yourself, bitch. Did you tell him that you thought you were a widow? And that you were grieving and that the world was coming to an end and that, that you needed comfort? Yeah. Did you tell him it was a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was a long time coming. It was real, Lord. It that was, was not. It was you, and it was me and Carl, and it was real. He was right. Don't say it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. Now, plot twist. Spoiler alert. I've never been in love with a woman. <clears throat> but it looks like being in love with women makes men do some crazy shit. <laughs> Man's a good guy. Yeah, he is. I don't understand how it's now light outside and Glenn, Herschel and Rick aren't home yet. Guys. I'll speak with the devil, is this them? Finally. You guys get me stressed out too much. Okay. <gasps> Wounded. Who the hell is that? That's Randall. Randall. Oh, bless him. So really, Randall should be on our side because these bitches left him for dead. And our bitches didn't. But look at this, folks. We back in fantasy land. You know, we haven't even dealt with what you did at my barn yet. Let me make this perfectly clear once and for all. This is my farm. Oh. Now, I wanted you gone. Rick talked me out of it, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. So do us both a favor. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> what, Herschel? A bullet hit the wall behind me and I, I thought of you. Losing me, hurting it. And I couldn't take it, so I hid oh. to stay alive. You don't get it. Oh. Rick, your dad, they were counting on me and I, I only thought of myself. You're drinking. That was the least of my worries. You left and I didn't know what to do. I don't really understand what is wrong with this Beth at all. I thought she might have been scratched up by her dead mother and now she's converted into one of her dead mother's friends. But surely they would have found a sign of injury and if they haven't, why is she in this state? Ever consider a lighter touch? Abandoning the search for Sophia, taking out the walkers in the barn, lying to Lori today. Those were all the right calls. It's your presentation that leaves something to be desired. Yes, Andy? Uh-huh. They're going to give this kid a care package. They're going to send him on his way. And you're right, this going to bring on a war or, or something worse. And we're just going to, we're going to sit here and wait for it. I should live with you when I have the chance. Bye, then. And you, Andrea. I don't really have too much against you. But because you're, like, in cahoots with him, it makes me dislike you. We need to talk about Shane. <gasps> yeah, we do. What's he done now? He thinks the baby's his. 
You're gonna have to make him. He won't listen to me. He's delusional and he's dangerous. Yeah, see? Everyone knows this motherfucker is dangerous. Well, he's scaring people. He's scaring me. And I think he killed Otis. Yes! He loves me. But you don't know that. And he thinks that we're supposed to be together. Yeah, I know. Good for you, Laurie. You've just gone right up in my estimations with your honesty. Jane thinks I'm his. He thinks the baby's his. And he says you can't protect us. Oh! But you're gonna get us killed. Oh! It's so sinister. He's dangerous, Rick, and he won't stop. So what? We got. Have we got to kill Shane? Rick, why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Are we gonna kill Shane? I don't know about that. I just wanted to go. I didn't want him to die. Oh, I love it. Okay, guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we spent a lot of ep of this episode in immediate danger. What with Laurie and the car crash. And the bar boys against the other random gang. But it turns out that other random gang was pretty useless because there was a multiple of them. Three of them died, thanks to our lads. Um, and one got impaled in a rail and then left by his tribe. So our tribe have collected him to um, fix him up and then send him on his way. But Shane obviously is not happy about this situation because I just think Shane's a very unhappy man. And everyone else, apart from Andrea, is realising as well that this man is a bit of a liability to us. And everyone's a bit threatened and feels really nervous and on edge because he's been acting really erratically and really dangerously. So I think, I think, I think, Laurie might have just put her hit out on Shane. <laughs> Which is not great, because their dynamic is already fucked up and complex as it is. But I've said it once before and i say it again, it's the drama and I love it. Anyway, I could be here and ramble for hours, but just before I came and sat down to watch this, I was at work and the last thing I did was did a perm. And my hands and my clothes stink of perm and lotion and it is such a horrible distinctive smell. So I'm going to go get myself cleaned up and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Stay safe out there. Oh, yeah, and subscribe, like and comment and all that good shit too. I love it. Bye.